the Executive Director of Beauty Publications and Awards for Cosmetics Alliance Canada, Jim Hicks. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third annual Canadian Beauty Awards. Madame, Mademoiselle, Monsieur, bonsoir. Et bienvenue à la troisième édition depuis Canadien de la beauté à Toronto. To help me introduce uh, this evening's very special broadcast edition of the Canadian Beauty Awards, it's my pleasure to welcome an old friend as my co-host this evening, a former editor of Cosmetics Magazine and an award-winning Twitter sensation, Mr. Dave Lackey. Hi, Jim. Great to be here. And hello to all of our Twitter friends around the world. Welcome. This is a really special evening for a great cause. And for those of you who don't know Jim, I actually worked for him for seven years uh, as editor of Cosmetics Magazine. And we used to go around the country uh, visiting stores. And Jim is a legend in this industry. He is, I call him the George Clooney of beauty because we'd go into stores and the staff would literally have meltdowns. They would be so excited. They'd be shaking and they'd want to take their picture. So it's wonderful to be working with you again, Jim. You really are the nicest guy in the business. And um, I'm so happy here to be celebrating the best in Canadian beauty. I brought my, my Canadian flag here uh, and we're going to have great fun this evening. So I just want to say thanks, Jim, for including me in this celebration of Canadian beauty. It's my pleasure, Dave, and great to be working with you once again. Before we start tonight's program, let's uh, welcome the president and CEO of Cosmetics Alliance, Mr. Darren Prasnick. Darren? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and bonsoir. Marty and I would like to welcome everyone who is taking in this special broadcast of the 2020 Canadian Beauty Awards. And this is something I look forward to every year and wouldn't want to miss. This is a very unique time in which we are living, and it requires all of us to rise to the challenge. Your Cosmetics Alliance team, working with our member companies and Health Canada, are ensuring that Canadians have access to the personal care and hygiene products they require. We can all be proud of our industry's efforts. And we've all had to rise to the challenge in our personal lives as well, like working from home, not spending time with our family and friends. And in some cases, our children have taken on some new responsibilities around the house. Oh, Johnny. Oh, thank you, John. Thank Perfect. You, John. Well done. Thank you. So let's enjoy ourselves this evening. Let's give a big round of congratulations to all of our finalists and all of the winners, and let's have a great time. And so let's get on with the show. Over to you, Jim and Dave. We thought this celebration tonight would be an excellent opportunity to give back, specifically to our frontline workers and our healthcare providers for everything they are doing during this COVID-19 crisis. So on behalf of the Beauty Awards finalists and our sponsors this evening, we are donating beauty product. And because these awards are in Toronto, we are collaborating with UHN, University Health Network, here in Ontario. The healthcare workers are desperate for skin care and beauty products during this difficult time. So we are donating six large beauty baskets full of product to six UHN respite centers designed specifically for our healthcare workers for them to take a break. Dave? And we also have something extra cool on Twitter this evening. We're giving away two incredible beauty and fragrance prize packs. Now this, listen to how this goes. One winner will win on Twitter this evening and they will win a prize worth $1,500. It's a, it's a gift basket. The second gift basket, which is the same value, will be donated in their name to a frontline healthcare worker. So it's again to someone who's so deserving and it's going to be a wonderful surprise for them. So we're very excited about that. Now, if you want to donate this evening, make a small donation to the frontline fund .ca. That is the charity that supports a hundred hospitals across the country with um, protective gear, with support. They're really frontline workers and they really help them. So you can make it. There's a link on the cosmeticsmag.com uh, website. You can just click right through and make a donation and um, all of that money will go to the people who really, really deserve it. 
For those of you following along on Twitter and Instagram, be sure to use our hashtag, which is hashtag 2020CBAS, and give some shout outs to the winners and the finalists that you really love. We're gonna be giving some amazing prizes away on Twitter as well, so you'll wanna be following along with that. Now back to you, Jim. Thanks, Dave. The 120 nominations that we received this year went through a three-tiered judging process. Our 14 uh, Beauty Award judges, a special industry vote, and a beauty advisor vote. And as well, we asked our consumers to vote this year in four different categories, skincare, makeup, men's fragrance, and women's fragrance. A special group of beauty editors, bloggers, freelance journalists, and beauty experts made up our judging panel this year. I would like to thank all of you for your time. Judges use the following criteria when judging the finalists each year. Launch or innovation, 30%. Advertising, media support, 20%. Sales results, 20%. Packaging, design, product, 15%. And public relations support, 15%. The emphasis was intentionally put on the uniqueness of the product launch or the product innovation. And this might be a really good time to remind you once again, I am still not a judge. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors because without their support, this evening would not be possible. Our vendor sponsors, Chanel, Cody Canada, Clarence, Estee Lauder Companies, Elizabeth Arden, Revlon, L'Oreal Cosmetique Active, L'Oreal Paris, Group Marcel, Johnson and Johnson, Prestelux Inc., Pouge, Sexuelle Michel Germain, and Shiseido BPI. Our media sponsors are City Line, City TV, Fashion Magazine, Globe and Mail, Style Advisor, Rouge Media, Cosmetics Magazine, and Fairheart Productions for the production of tonight's webcast. Our retail and event sponsors are Hudson's Bay, Hope Renfrew, Lotus Aroma, Pierre Fab, Dermtech Pharma, Orchard International, NPD, Top Box Marketing, and Cosmetics Alliance. A special thanks tonight goes out to Michelle Davis of the Cosmetics Alliance for all the work she did for tonight's awards. Thank you, Michelle. And thanks to all of our sponsors. Your support is greatly appreciated. We will be hearing from a number of industry leaders tonight who wanted to send a special hello. Why don't we listen to our first one right now? Bonjour à tous. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Frank Colmar, and I'm President and CEO of L'Oreal Canada. I want to send a big thank you and congratulations to all the finalists of the Beauty Awards. Beauty has always been a very special category, and especially in these times where we're confined at home, beauty can make a big difference in people's life. We all know about the lipstick effect and how beauty products can improve the mental health of everyone. So keep on working hard to help Canada get back on its feet, stay safe, and make beauty part of the recovery plan. Have fun tonight. Big shout out again to all the finalists and thank you Jim Hicks for organizing the Beauty Awards. Thanks Frank. I will be presenting the four Consumers Choice Awards first this evening. Consumers voted for the finalists through the Cosmetics website and through Top Boxes, 80,000 subscribers. We had nearly 11,000 consumers vote this year. So let's get started. I will be presenting the Skincare Consumer's Choice Award first this evening. 
all skincare categories were eligible for this award. So let's see who the Consumer's Choice Award for skincare was this year. And the winner is Vichy Mineral 89 Eyes, Vichy Laboratories. This refreshing eye treatment is a drink of water for skin. Customers loved how their eye area felt instantly energized and depuffed, thanks to hyaluronic acid and a shot of pure caffeine. Congratulations, Vichy and L'Oreal. Our next Consumer's Choice Award is for Men's Fragrance. Let's see who the consumers picked as this year's winner. Tiffany and Love for Him, EDT, Cody, Canada. Consumers fell in love with this enticing woody citrus fragrance. Subtle, masculine, and alluring, this fragrance is an ode to modern love from a brand leader in timeless romance. Congratulations, Cody. Our next consumer's choice is for makeup. And all makeup categories were eligible for this award. Let's see who the consumers picked as their makeup choice this year. And the winner is Smashbox. Studio Skin Full Coverage, 24-Hour Foundation, Estee Lauder Companies. A little goes a very long way with this full coverage, buildable foundation that lasts and lasts. Consumers love its flawless coverage, feather light feel on skin, and oil control ingredients that won't cause blemishes. This innovative foundation delivers exactly what consumers want. Congratulations. Our final Consumer's Choice Award tonight is for Women's Fragrance. And the consumers picked Burberry, Her Intense, EDP, Cody, Canada. Fresh Blackberry, Blooming Jasmine, and Rich Benzoin are the stars of this beautifully balanced Eau de Parfum, which nods to the Heritage brand's archived designs in its elegant bottle. This vibrant winning scent captures the energy of London, also the backdrop for its campaign, fronted by Cara Delevingne. Congratulations, Cody. Before I pass it over to Dave to present our fragrance awards this evening, one more industry le leader would like to say hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm Luann McGrory, president of Shiseido Canada. You know, the beauty awards tonight are a welcome distraction for everything that we're going through right now. I just wanted to say good luck to all the finalists and, and equally a special congratulations to all the winners. Stay safe and be well. Thanks, Luann. Our first fragrance award this evening is for Best Limited Launch Women's. And this is a fragrance that's launched in the year 2019 in between five and 200 retail locations across Canada. So let's take a look now at who the finalists are and who the winner is. The finalists in the Limited Fragrance Launch Women's category are Michel Germain, Sexual Noir Intense Eau de Parfum, Michel Germain Parfum. Serge Luton's Lode Armoise Eau de Parfum, Shiseido Fragrance Division BPI. Gucci, The Alchemist Garden Collection, Cody, Canada. And the winner is Gucci, The Alchemist Garden Collection, Cody, Canada. Inspired by traditional perfumery, this enchanting collection of mix and match eau de parfum, oils and perfumed waters epitomizes the brand's devotion to self-expression. Luxurious lacquered glass bottles house fragrances such as A Song for the Rose, a true marriage of storytelling and scent, two Canadian locations ranked in the top 10 in global sales. Congratulations to Cody, yay! Our next category is Best Limited Launch Men's. So let's take a look at now at the finalists and find out who the winner is. The finalists in the Limited Fragrance Launch Men's category are Michel Germain Sexual Noir Pour Homme Eau de Parfum, Michel Germain Parfum, Creed Aventus Cologne, and the winner is Michel Germain Sexual Noir Pour Homme Eau de Parfum, Michel Germain Parfum. An icon intensified, this richer version of the original signature scent was hotly anticipated. This charismatic blend of Italian bergamot, wild coriander and sweet tobacco exceeded sales expectations and sold out at Hudson's Bay before Christmas Day. 
Congratulations, Michelle Germain. Our next fragrance award up is Full Market Launch Women's. The finalists in the Full Market Fragrance Launch Women's category are Michelle Germain Sugarful Eau de Parfum, Michelle Germain Parfums, Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk for Her Eau de Parfum, Shiseido Fragrance Division BPI. Burberry Her Intense Eau de Parfum, Cody Canada. Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Eau oh So Sweet Eau de Toilette, Cody Canada. Tiffany and Love for Her Eau de Parfum, Cody Canada. Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal Eau de Parfum, Pouge Canada. Gabrielle Chanel Essence, Chanel. Chanel Eau Tendre Eau de Parfum, Chanel. And the winner is... Gabrielle Chanel Essence Chanel. The historic French perfume house summoned its beloved founder's inner fire and magnified the scent of tuberose plucked from its own gardens on the French Riviera, with its golden warmth accentuated in both the bottle design and a radiant campaign fronted by Margot Robbie. Congratulations, Chanel. Our last fragrance award of the evening is for full market launch men's. The finalists in the Full Market Fragrance Launch Men's category are Dolce & Gabbana K by Dolce & Gabbana Eau de Toilette, Shiseido Fragrance Division BPI Mont Blanc Explorer Eau de Parfum, Clarence Canada John Varvados X Nick Jonas Silver Edition Eau de Toilette, Elizabeth Arden Revlon Canada Hugo Boss Bottled Infinite Eau de Parfum, Cody Canada Tiffany and Love for him, Eau de Toilette, Cody, Canada. And the winner is... John Varvatos X Nick Jonas Silver Edition Eau de Toilette, Elizabeth Arden, Revlon, Canada. The brand's signature flask bottle got a sleek silver to black gradient finish, and the fragrance exceeded sales expectations, thanks in part to an impressive campaign that included a Jonas Brothers concert experience in Toronto. Congratulations to Elizabeth Arden and Revlon, and I'm so happy that John Varvatos won. He's a fashion designer in New York who is one of the nicest men. He was the, one of the mentors on Fashion Star years ago on the reality TV show, and it's a fantastic fragrance. So congrats, John. Jim, back to you. Thanks, Dave. We'll be getting into our skincare category next, but before we do that, let's hear from another industry leader. Hi everyone, I'm Debbie Erickson, the General Manager for Cody Canada Luxury and Consumer Beauty Divisions. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. On behalf of the Cody team, we wanted to offer our best wishes to all the finalists tonight and a special congratulations to all the winners. Although we couldn't be there together live tonight, participating through the Beauty Awards webcast is certainly the next best thing. Hope to see you all again soon. Thanks, Debbie. I will be presenting the awards to some of our skincare award winners this evening. First up is Best Skincare Lux. This is a new category this year as we wanted to recognize the special Lux skincare category. Let's see who the finalists are and recognize our winner. The finalists in the skincare Lux category are La Prairie Skin Caviar Eye Lift, La Prairie. Guerlain Orchidee Imperial Black Eye and Lip Contour Cream, Guerlain. Sisley Paris, Sisleya Lentigral Anti-Age Anti-Wrinkle Concentrated Serum, Sisley Paris. La Mer, The Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream, Estee Lauder Companies. Shiseido Future Solution LX Legendary On May Ultimate Luminance Serum, Shiseido Canada. And the winner is... La Mer, the moisturizing cool gel cream, Estee Lauder Companies. Millions of droplets of the brand's Miracle Broth and Creme Emollients are wrapped in kelp capsules that burst onto the skin to deliver freshness and healing moisture. Its five-star launch included a partnership with longtime brand fan, Kate Hudson. This evening, we'll be hearing from a number of our Beauty Award judges who will be sharing some beauty tips with you throughout the evening. Let's listen to our first one, Michelle Kazmi, who will be sharing a tip on face oil. 
A face oil is the ultimate workhorse in your skincare routine just because of how versatile it is. You can use it on its own or you can add a few drops into your moisturizer or your foundation if you're looking for an all over dewy glow. It's also really great beyond the face because you can use it for so many other different things like dry cuticles or smoother, shinier hair. Our next award is for uh, best skincare prestige. To qualify for this category, the product would have had to have been launched in the last two years. The finalists in the skincare prestige category are Lee's Watche Age Control Supreme L'Experience 60 Rose Glow Vitality Cream Group Marcel. Filorga Time Filler Night Multi Correction Wrinkles Night Cream Prestilux. Clarins My Clarins Range Clarins Canada. Clarence Super Restorative Rose Radiance Cream, Clarence Canada. Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules Line Erasing Night Serum, Elizabeth Arden, Revlon Canada. Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream, Shiseido Canada. Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Supercharged Complex Synchronized Recovery, Estee Lauder Companies. Chanel Sublimage L'Essence Fondamentale, Chanel. Clinique ID Custom Blend Hydration System, Estee Lauder Companies. And the winner is... Clarins My Clarins Range, Clarins Canada. This brand's first ever vegan collection made a colorful splash with nine skincare products that promote the benefits of natural ingredients, including the new Healthy Skin In and Out Complex. This collection hit the mark with Gen Z and millennial customers becoming a must-have on Instagram and exceeding plan. Congratulations, Clarence. Our next award is for Best Skin Care Full Market. The finalists in the Skin Care Full Market category are Marcel Revival Plus Advanced Dual Anti-Aging Day Care 2-in-1 Serum Plus Cream, Group Marcel. L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Triple Power LZR 1.5% Pure Hyaluronic Acid, L'Oreal Canada. Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Oil, Johnson & Johnson. Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipe Singles, Johnson & Johnson. Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops, Johnson & Johnson. Dermalogica Phyto Nature Firming Serum, Dermalogica Canada. Elizabeth Arden Vitamin C Ceramide Capsules Radiance Renewal Serum, Elizabeth Arden, Revlon Canada. Garnier Bio Certified Organic Lavender Smooth and Glow Facial Oil, Garnier. And the winner is Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Oil, Johnson & Johnson. This winning formula combines a highly effective form of vitamin A with hyaluronic acid supported by a 360-degree campaign, including celebrity ambassadors Jennifer Garner and Nicole Kidman, this fast-absorbing oil became the top retinol product launch in its market. Congratulations, Neutrogena and Johnson & Johnson. We're very pleased to have Vanya Aguilar here tonight to present one of our awards. Vanya is our Montreal editor and one of our Beauty Awards judges. Welcome, Vanya. Thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure for me to be here tonight. Notre prochain prix est dans la catégorie Meilleur soin des peaux dermocosmétiques. To qualify for this award, the Derma Skin Care product had to be launched within the last two years. The finalists in the Skin Care Derm category are Uriage Zemos Balm Oleo, Zemos Oleo Balm Prestilux. Neostrata Retinol 0.3% Overnight Peel, Johnson & Johnson. IDC Hydra Hyaluronic Highly Concentrated Moisturizing Serum, IDC Dermo Integral Dermo Correction. O Thermal Even Derm Absolute Comforting Night Balm, Pierre Fab Dermo Cosmetique. O Thermal Even Hydrance Aqua Gel, Pierre Fab Dermo Cosmetique. Reversa Hydra Mineral Concentrate, Dermtech Pharma. Reversa Radiance C Concentrate, Dermtech Pharma. Reversa Radiance Cream SPF 30, Dermtech Pharma. Reversa Retin A List Cream, Dermtech Pharma. Juviance Restructive 3D Action Boost First Wrinkle Anti Aging Cream, Juviance. 
Juviance Magistralu Team Elixir Anti-Aging Regenerating Serum, Juviance. La Roche-Posay Pure Vitamin C10 Serum, L'Oreal Canada. La Roche-Posay Tolerian Ultra 8, L'Oreal Canada. Vichy Lift Active Collagen Specialist, L'Oreal Canada. Vichy Mineral 89 Eyes, L'Oreal Canada. And the winner is... Neostrata Retinol 0.3% Overnight Peel, Johnson & Johnson. This high-strength weekly peel offers treatment-level results at home. Educational seminars and sampling drove awareness and customer trust, helping the treatment to exceed plan and become the brand's number one peel. Thanks, Vanya. Congratulations, Neostrata and Johnson & Johnson. Dave, we're at the halfway mark. Why don't you take us through the next few awards? Thanks, Jim. We're having great fun and getting lots of fantastic traction and comments and engagement on Instagram and Twitter. I just want to say thank you to everybody. We're having lots of beauty fun. We'll get back to the awards shortly. But first, as you know, all of my Twitter followers, they love tips and tricks. And we have a fantastic one to share with you now from Caitlin Agnew. Hi, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying this year's Canadian Beauty Awards. I wanted to share a quick skincare tip on masking because I think we're probably all masking a lot more at home than usual. Whenever I'm applying a mask from a jar, I've been using this Biotherm spatula. I think any spatula would do, but it just helps me to get a more even application on my face. And I also end up wasting much less product than I do when I apply with my fingers. That's it. Thanks and happy masking. Thanks, Caitlin. Moving on to our makeup categories. Uh, these are awarded to a brand that was launched within the last 24 months. And we're going to start this evening with Makeup Lips Prestige. The finalists for the Makeup Lips Prestige category are Buxom Raptors Red Baller Full Force Plumping Lipstick, Shiseido Canada Buxom Division. NARS Lipstick, Shiseido Canada NARS Division. Gucci Rouge à Lèvres Collection, Cody Canada. And the winner is Gucci Rouge à Lèvres Collection, Cody Canada. Mix and match satin and sheer lipsticks, as well as tinted transparent lip balms in a striking palette of gorgeously gilded retro-inspired bullets. The brand's headline-making campaign included models with imperfect teeth and drove home a message of empowerment and authenticity. Congratulations, Cody, such a great group of people. So nice to see them winning. Our next category and award is for Makeup Face Prestige. The finalists for the Makeup Face Prestige category are Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick, Shiseido Canada, Bare Minerals Division. Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush, Shiseido Canada, Buxom Division. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector, Shiseido Canada. Clarins Everlasting Youth Fluid, Clarins Canada. Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation, Shiseido Canada. Chanel Le Beige Eau de Tain, Chanel. And the winner is Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Natural Skin Perfector, Shiseido Canada. A cult favorite reimagined. This Instagram-ready tinted moisturizer instantly perfects and quenches skin with macadamia and kikui seed oils. A beautifully diverse campaign helped to secure the brand's number one status in this category. Congratulations, Shiseido. Before we get to our next award, let's have another beauty tip. This one is from our Beauty Awards judge, Alex Laws. Hi, I'm Alex Laws, and I'm a judge on this year's Cosmetics Magazine's Canadian Beauty Awards. I'm here to give you a tip about mascara, which is always a firm favorite in the eye makeup categories and also happens to be my desert island slash quarantine essential. I love mascara because nothing makes me look more wide awake with just a quick swipe. And uh, I think there's also a bit of a trick in my technique. So instead of running the wand up along my lashes, I actually hold it steady and then close my eyelashes against the brush. And that has the act of coating the lashes, but also pushing them up at the same time. So there you go, an easy wide awake look. Thanks, Alex. Our next award this evening is for Makeup 
eyes full market. And without further ado, the finalists for the makeup eyes full market category are Annabelle Chrome Single Eyeshadow, Annabelle. L'Oreal Paris Bambi Eye Mascara, L'Oreal Paris. Rimmel Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 Liner to Shadow, Cody Canada. And the winner is L'Oreal Paris Bambi Eye Mascara, L'Oreal Paris. This winning mascara's cleverly designed brush features long and short bristles to curl each individual lash while applying a velvety clump-free formula. The result is a totally wide-eyed look, as showcased on French model and it girl Camille Rowe, who appears alongside Disney's Bambi in the campaign. Congratulations, L'Oreal. Now, let's go back to Montreal and have Vanya announce our next award. Merci, Dave. Our final makeup award this evening is for Makeup Face Full Market. Le lancement à grande échelle de maquillage pour le visage est décerné à une marque de maquillage lancée au cours des deux dernières années. The finalists for the Makeup Face Full Market category are L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, L'Oreal Paris. Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage 24-Hour Foundation, Estee Lauder Companies. Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation, Revlon Canada. CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, Cody Canada. And the winner is... Revlon Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation, Revlon Canada. This fresh new foundation is totally pro skin. Its futuristic formula leaves a flawless finish that's always camera ready. A sleek and modern tube design complemented a bold, inclusivity positive campaign fronted by Gal Gadot and the ever candid Ashley Graham. Congratulations, Revlon. Let's hear from two of our Beauty Awards judges, Jill and Carlene, with another makeup tip for you. Hey everyone, Jill and Carlene here, hosts of Breaking Beauty Podcast. Hi. We're also two of the judges for this evening's event, so thank you for having us. Now, like all of you, we are living our lives on Zoom. We are recording our episodes on Zoom. We are in meetings. And so we were very grateful to a recent guest who taught us a really good mascara hack so we don't get smudging everywhere. Yeah, so we're talking about Lucky Bromhead. She gave us this tip, and she's the makeup artist on the hit show Shit's Creek. She works with Catherine O'Hara, also known as Moira Rose. And yeah, mascara is what makes your eyes look open. You look alert. You look like you've got ideas. You're nailing this. Yeah, so basically she suggests using two mascaras. So on the top lashes, use your traditional favorite mascara to get that fanned and feathery, fluffy look. And on the bottom lashes, she suggests using a tubing mascara, which we know shrink wraps sort of each and every lash so you don't get any of that smudging going on in front of your boss. No raccoon eyes here. That's right. I had given up on my lower lashes. So simple, but so effective. Love it. Total throwback moment. So thanks for having us, you guys, and have a great night. Thanks, Jill and Carlene. Our next award this evening is Nail Care. To qualify for the Nail Care Award, the product needed to be launched within the last two years. Let's see our finalists and find out who our winner is. The finalists in the Nail Care category are Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Neon Collection, Cody Canada. L'Oreal Paris Color Riche Oil Infused Nail Polish, L'Oreal Paris. And the winner is Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Neon Collection, Cody Canada. Saved by the gel. With names like Lemon Chillo and Peach Please, this punchy palette earned major snaps on social media. Three shades rank top 10 in the gel category with an impressive lift in gel collection sales. Congratulations, Sally Hansen and Cody. Our next award this evening is Hair Care. Again, to qualify, they needed to be launched in the last two years. The finalists in the Hair Care category are L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise 8 Second Wonder Water Treatment, L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Paris Hair Expertise Dream Length Sleek Frizz Eraser Serum, L'Oreal Paris. Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Nettle, Natural Shade, Pierre Fab Dermo Cosmetique. Love Beauty and Planet Murumuru Butter and Rose Shampoo Bar, Unilever. 
Garnier Whole Blends Almond and Argan Riches Shampoo and Conditioner. Garnier. Garnier Fructus Repairing Papaya Treat Shampoo and Conditioner. Garnier. And the winner is... Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Nettle Natural Shade Pierre Fab Dermo Cosmetique. This genius dry shampoo contains natural oil absorbers to leave hair clean, bouncy, and ready for the day without the use of water. Beautiful light green packaging communicates the brand's connection with nature. Congratulations, Pierre Fab. One more industry leader would like to send his hello. Hi, good evening. My name is Francois Carlier. I'm the president of Presterix. Unfortunately, we cannot be together tonight in Toronto to celebrate our industry at the Canadian Beauty Awards. So we are all watching from home. I wanted to congratulate all the winners. Um, I hope everybody is safe, be well. We'll all get through this all together. I hope I will see all of you very, very soon. Enjoy the evening. Thanks, Francois. Our next award is for our new Clean Beauty category. To qualify for the Clean Beauty category, the product needed to meet a number of social, responsibility, and environmental requirements. The finalists for the Clean Beauty category are BioEffect EGF Serum Beauty Mark Solutions, Lotus Aroma 24 Hour Roll on Deodorant, Laboratoire Natrum Lotus Aroma, Lotus Aroma Tonifying Facial Mask with Peat Mud and Kaolin, Laboratoire Natrum Lotus Aroma. Lotus Aroma Youth Anti-Wrinkle Night Serum Improved Laboratoire Natrum Lotus Aroma Herbal Essences Bio Renew Sulfate Free Potent Aloe Plus Hemp Shampoo and Conditioner Procter & Gamble Reversa Retin-A List Cream Dermtech Pharma Schmidt's Charcoal Plus Magnesium Natural Deodorant Stick Unilever Garnier Bio Organic Lemongrass Purifying Gel Wash Garnier And the winner is... BioEffect EGF Serum Beauty Mark Solutions. This brand was founded by three Icelandic scientists who discovered a way to bioengineer a plant based replica of epidermal growth factor, EGF. This brand has grown 10% year over year through word of mouth and this serum's many international awards. Congratulations, Beauty Mark. Our next award this evening is Sun Care. To qualify for the Sun Care, Award, the product needed to be launched within the last two years. The finalists in the Sun Care category are Kula SPF 30 Makeup Setting Spray, Beauty Mark Solutions, Eau Thermal Aven Tinted Mineral Fluid SPF 50, Pierre Fab Dermal Cosmetique, Shiseido Ultra Sun Protection Lotion Wet Force SPF 50, Shiseido Canada. Garnier Ombrelle Complete Sensitive Advanced SPF 60, Garnier. Vichy Ideal Soleil Ultra Fluid Mineral Tinted Lotion SPF 60, L'Oreal Canada. And the winner is... Shiseido Ultra Sun Protection Lotion Wet Force SPF 50 Plus, Shiseido Canada. Canada's number one prestige sunscreen brand delivered its latest innovator with this totally invisible broad spectrum lotion in its signature blue bottle. Filmed in Singapore, the campaign conveyed a sense of freedom, speaking to the formula's transparency on skin. Congratulations, Shiseido. I came across a clip the other day on YouTube and I wanted to share it with you this evening. It's from an elementary school teacher who has actually written a lovely song about the times we are living through today. So as some of you guys might know, I'm a music teacher and I found that one of the best ways that I can process the whole transition to online learning and teaching is to write a song. So I wrote a song. I'd like to share that with you guys now. Here we go. Well, Dave, it's over to you for our body care category. Jim, that clip really does sum it up. And now let's get on to our next award, this time for body care. Now, to qualify for this category, the product had to have been launched in the last two years. The finalists in the body care category are 
Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream Fragrance Free, Johnson & Johnson. Neostrata Skin Active Derm Active Triple Firming Neck Cream, Johnson & Johnson. Nuke Wheel Prodigieuse Floral Prestilux. And the winner is... Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream Fragrance Free, Johnson & Johnson. This silky smooth gel cream delivers face level skincare for the body. As brand ambassador Carrie Washington notes, a comprehensive sampling program and PR scheme generated a tidal wave of buzz for the launch and helped Neutrogena body to grow 18.5%. Congratulations to Neutrogena and J&J. &J. Now our next beauty award is the Men's Grooming Award. Hooray! Let's take a look at the finalists and see who this year's winner is. The finalists in the men's grooming category are Jack Black, Black Reserve Body and Hair Cleanser, Prestilux, CW Biggs and Sons Energy Plus Moisturizer, Group Marcel. And the winner is Jack Black, Black Reserve Body and Hair Cleanser, Prestilux. This one-time limited edition hair and body wash joined the brand's full-time arsenal this year. Its darkly sophisticated package design, reminiscent of a prized whiskey bottle, speaks to the deeply aromatic fragrance and superior ingredients. Congratulations, Prestilux. Jack Black is a fantastic brand and well-deserved. So our next award is something very special. It is our Women's Hall of Fame Fragrance Award. This is determined by an industry vote and it's to qualify, you have to have a fragrance that is performed exceptionally well for the last five to 10 years. So I'll start by presenting the Women's uh, Hall of Fame Award first. The finalists in the Hall of Fame Women's category are Michelle Germain, Sexuel Eau de Parfum, Michelle Germain Parfum, Dolce & Gabbana, The One, Eau de Parfum, Shiseido Fragrance Division, BPI, Serge Luton's Feminité du Bois, Eau de Parfum, Shiseido Fragrance Division, BPI, Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy, Eau de Parfum, Elizabeth Arden, Revlon Canada. And the winner is... Serge Luton's Feminité du Bois Eau de Parfum, Shiseido Fragrance Division BPI. Since its inception in 1992, this women's scent has undergone several outer makeovers, but its exquisite heart of cedar remains true. Housed in an apothecary-style bottle with bold typeface and a black lacquered top, this modern masterpiece expresses the masculine side of femininity and vice versa, said the creator himself. Congratulations, Shiseido. And now on to the Men's Hall of Fame Award. The finalists in the Hall of Fame men's category are Michel Germain Sexuel Pour Homme Eau de Toilette Michel Germain Parfum Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Pour Homme Eau de Toilette Shiseido Fragrance Division BPI Paco Rabanne One Million Eau de Toilette Pouge Canada And the winner is Paco Rabanne One Million Eau de Toilette Pouge Canada this audacious and intriguing scent prominently features amber leather notes blended with white wood and sensuous patchouli. Since its number one launch in over 15 countries in 2009, this men's fragrance has continued to intoxicate and rank among the world's best sellers. Congratulations, Pooj. Before I present the final award this evening, I wanted to mention, as an industry, for almost 30 years, we have supported women facing cancer through our special Look Good, Feel Better program. Not only does Look Good, Feel Better provide tips and techniques for the appearance-related impact of cancer, but it also brings a sense of community and connection. That mission is even more critical today, which is why Look Good, Feel Better has brought its workshops online to ensure we reach all women right across the country. To do so, they need your help. And that is why Cosmetics Alliance is pleased to be matching all individual gifts made up until June the 5th this year. A double match, in fact. For every dollar donated, we will match twice. So your gift actually goes three times as far. 
Join us. Support women facing cancer. Donate at lgfb.ca. You can also donate on our website, just above where you're watching this program tonight. Our final award this evening is Lifetime Achievement. The Lifetime Achievement Award is presented to the individual that colleagues, peers, and beauty experts feel has made the most significant contribution to the beauty industry throughout their career. Let's have a look at this year's finalists. The finalists in the Lifetime Achievement category are Angela Gallo, Estee Lauder, Eric Cook, Michelle Germain, Eric Jeffreyon, Functional Lab Group. Congratulations to all our finalists uh, and thank you for your contributions to the industry. Now, let's find out a little bit more about this year's Lifetime Achievement winner. Our winner was born in Montreal to her French-Canadian mother and her father, an Italian immigrant. With no siblings, Angela's friends became her family, and the importance she placed on relationships has continued to define her, both personally and professionally. Angela's parents taught her the fundamental values of honesty, generosity, mutual respect, and caring for others. During her education, she started working at Hudson's Bay part-time for a little extra money. Angela's store manager offered her a section head position at just 21 years old. Soon her dream of becoming a lawyer was replaced by her new passion for retail and customer service. Angela stayed with HBC for nine years. Then she was selected to be part of the program management course and was transferred to HBC Montreal as assistant sales manager. After that, she was hooked. Throughout her career, Angela has met industry icons, including Estee Lauder, Lise Wachet, Oscar de la Renta, and many more. In 1989, Angela landed the account executive position with Aramis, and just a couple of years later, she was promoted to account executive at Estee Lauder. In 2002, Angela was promoted to regional sales director for Eastern Canada, and the rest is history. Congratulations, Angela. Because of the special webcast tonight, we let Angela know she'd won beforehand, so she could prepare a few words for us. But before we hear from her, please welcome Eric Dolet, General Manager, Estee Lauder Canada. Hello, I am Eric Douillet, General Manager of Estee Lauder Canada. I hope you are all enjoying this very special online evening. I wanted to take a moment to congratulate Angela for her fantastic Lifetime Achievement Award. Angela is a very special member of the Estee Lauder team and after many years, I'm not sure she wants me to say the number of years, but after many years of career at Estee Lauder companies, this recognition is so well deserved. I had the privilege of telling Angela she had won this great award on a special weekly conference call with more than 160 team members and it was very, very impactful and we were all so moved. Uh, it was a great moment of joy and team celebration in the midst of these very challenging times. So really congratulations Angela, warm congratulations from the whole Estee Lauder team here in Canada and thanks a lot to Jim and the judges for having recognized the Angela's incredible talent, energy and dedication through this wonderful award. Good evening everyone. Good evening everyone, bonsoir tout le monde. I certainly hope everybody is well, safe and healthy, which is the most important thing. Thanks, Eric, for your kind words. Very touching and much appreciated. Thanks, Jim, for making this happen despite the current situation. As a matter of fact, I've done some thinking. I believe we should rename the Lifetime Achievement Award to the Jim X Award. I hope you will consider for next year and the years to come. I never thought we would go through a situation, well, I never thought in my lifetime, we would go through a situation, the situation we're, we're going through right now. Uh, we're confined. Freedom has been taken away from us. When I say freedom, we cannot go to a restaurant. We cannot see our loved ones. Uh, we're concerned about our loved ones and we cannot see them. Um, 
But one thing that has not been taken away from me is my passion. My passion for, well, I'm passionate about everything, but my passion for my work and for the cosmetic industry. And I believe all of you, because I know many of you, you are all passionate. That will never be, nobody will take away the passion you have. So that's one good and positive thing that I've realized in the last seven weeks. I've had the privilege of working for 31 years for the Estee Lauder companies. And I have learned from the greatest leaders in this industry, which I'm sure you know some of them, Mr. Leonard Lauder, William Lauder, Fabrizio Freda, Tia Breen, just to name a few. I've learned from those people, one thing that keeps coming, it's you have to be agile with change. Um, we have to accept change and be resilient and learn from change. As we are going through major change right now, um, I think that we will get through it with huge learnings. I hope so. One thing also that I want to say, I am who I am because of the many people I had the privilege of working with. Uh, retailers, colleagues, and some of you have became my very, very close friends. So I am thankful and grateful that I had the opportunity to meet a lot of you and some of you are dear to my heart. Um, through the change we're going through right now, also one thing I've learned because, you know, I didn't have, I mean, we don't have all the talents, but I've learned that I can cut my own bang. Please don't laugh. Maybe it's not cut well, but I did it at least. And I did dye my own hair. So, uh, you know what? We are more creative than we believe. And this industry is about creativity and innovation. So it's pushing us to be more creative. Passionate, we will always be. So that's one thing, like I said, that cannot be taken away from us. I wished that we could all be together with a glass of wine and cheer, because that award goes to all of us. Um, yeah, and when Jim said, Angela, you won this year's Lifetime Achievement Award, I was excited. Like I said, I was very excited. I said, Lifetime, oh my God. That means I'm no longer 25 or 30 years old, which in my head, I still believe I'm 30 years old. Uh, but I don't regret it. I don't regret spending most, well, more than half of my life working in the cosmetic industry and working especially for Estee Lauder companies, which I am very thankful and grateful. Uh, I'd like to cheer with you, but there's no more bottles of wine at home. I've drank them all. Joke, up, joke aside. Uh, next time we are all together, hopefully at COSA, um, we will cheer and have a glass of wine, all of us. And until then, I send you many kisses. I thank all the judges, all the ones who voted for me. And I will cherish my Lifetime Achievement Award more than you think. On that note, stay safe and healthy. Until the next time. Merci. Bonsoir tout le monde. Congratulations, Angela and Estee Lauder. And congratulations again to all of our finalists and winners this evening. All of the winners tonight will be featured in the summer issue of Cosmetics Magazine, due out in the first week in June, on Fashion Magazine's social media sites, in the Globe Style section, in an upcoming issue of the Globe and Mail newspaper, and on Rouge Media Women's Network, when beauty salons open again. All in all, this year's post-media coverage of our winners will get over 5 million impressions across Canada. Dave, I'd like to thank you for joining me this evening. It's been a wonderful, wonderful evening. 
Thanks, Jim. It's been a blast. And we've also had so much fun on Twitter and Instagram. I want to thank everybody across the country and around the world who've been following along and engaging and celebrating the best in Canadian beauty. And I just want to let you know that next year's event will be returning to Montreal for 2021. So I really look forward to next year's event as well and seeing you all then. Thanks, Jim. Well, that brings us to the end of this year's very special edition of the Canadian Beauty Awards. Please stay healthy during these trying times that we are living through. We will get through this. From Dave and I, be well, stay safe, and take care.